Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, let's hear what you have. Do you have anything new? He does. He has scale mail plus two. Oh, no. What the hell are you? Sword of life stealing. On a, oh, on a critical hit, the target takes... A 1D and necrotic damage as long as it is a, a construct or undead. You also gain... Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. That's very good. That's very good. Another sword, short sword. Swords, a short sword of clutching umbral. Oop. Shadow soaked blade. Strike an enemy, adding your proficiency bonus to the damage. Moreover, if the attack hits, it deals an additional 1d6 psychic damage. This attack doesn't break concealment. Damn that. I'm sorry, what? What else do we have? Just rapier plus one. Uh, battle axe. Go away, bug! Gene meal plus two. Oh, this is heavy armor, though. So. Uh, no, nah, I think she, I think she's good. She's got that. You gain proficiency with short sword, long swords, and great swords. In addition, you get a plus, plus one bonus to melee attack rolls. Okay. The scimitar. While concentrating your melee attack, attack deal an additional 1d4 poison damage. This. Tested this out. Do it right. I can hit a lot of them for a lot of damage. But damn. That's a really good. Anyways. I'll be here if you need anything. Specimen. Premium Better off stuffed than stalking me, I dare say. Hmm. Look at the size of that thing. It could eat a person whole. Or a duck. <clears throat> it's nice to see everybody's uh, own inputs on that, but uh, now I'm actually kind of curious. Trinket! 
Kits and Nature's intelligence. Okay. Gale, you're now. the only one. You're our only one. You can do this, buddy. Believe it or not, but I know that stuff there. Dark more the wicked. How many died today? Oh, he terrorized everyone and everything in the, the woods of Cloak and Sharp Teeth. I don't believe it. Old place for him to end up, this? His territory Last ran from the best wood of Sharp Teeth right to Cloak. Here. Took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? Let's get on with it. That's Darkmoor the Wicked. Seems someone's been in the flesh. Is anyone keeping an eye on the in the hide and real. stuffing? Maybe Everything from the wood of sharp teeth Premises to cloak clear, wood was his hunting ground. Good. Until a small soon? army rallied to take him down. Don't want any surprises. I... Yes, Mom. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest king of the forest. I wager. Seems that way. Legend has it, his kingdom ran from the wood of sharp teeth to cloak wood. How'd he end up here? No idea. Maybe we'll hear that story from Karlak. Or I mean Jahara. We need to please be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my God! To your very good health. Rogue insight. Meet her stare head on and on as you examine her body language. She is anxious for you to drink the wine first. And it's an anxiety you recognize. Not every knave prefers a blade in the ribs or arrow in the back. Some prefer poison. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. This is pointless. Unless you've committed a grievous sin, I... Uh. I am no threat to you. A noble proclamation. It must have made you quite thirsty. Ah, drink the wine. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? It's trying to change me. Twin me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. And you're certain you will continue to resist? We'll see. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? What happened, uh, what happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? It was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. 
If he's back, perhaps you should hit him even harder than uh, harder in the first place. Uh, should have hit him harder in the first place. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here, commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Rare people look at me and see hope. I'm trying my best to be. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword. Together, I didn't his tell her about my artifact. Well, Catherick's day is numbered. I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Nice. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the past. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Your move, Maul. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. I've always laid a fine trap for you, Maul. It looks to me like his Siri could be dethroned. Break the game with some sleight of hand. <laughs> hmm, Gail's right. Put pressure on him. Attack the pieces in front of his Cyric. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for 
Alamsham rules. Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. There's plenty about me you have no idea about. Leave the kid, <laughs> kid alone, you weirdo. Yeah, absolutely. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Maul. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. So what is this region's history or tragedy? Why spoil it? It's all out there waiting to be discovered. You never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. <laughs> just stay away from all you hear. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. Leave me alone, Hellspawn. All in good time, dear. See you soon. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Ah, uh, what well, this is you? Huh? You know. I've been catching myself smiling more lately. I think that's your fault. Patrick Thorne, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Oh, hi. Garlic, I'm worried about the dance. How what Damon said about your engine. Listen, I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that. But I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. It wouldn't be forever. You could return just long enough for us to find some um solution. You heard Damon. There is no solution. It's hell or bust. I choose bust. But I don't want to talk about this now. I've been given a huge gift. I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade. And for the first time in a decade, there are people I care about all around me. Let me enjoy that, please. All right, I'll leave it alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this, at least for a little. How can I help? Oh. Nobody has anything to say. Okay, well. 
Ah, Barkus. Ah, you found your way. Good. I did, though, with a few hiccups along the way. Nasty place, isn't it? My torch only just held out long enough for me to find my way here. Oh, uh, what's that you're making? A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. How did, they, how did the gnomes get trapped in the tower? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against how their we will by those this? cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well, with you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus... I will make it. Hmm. When will it be ready? When I'm finished making it. Ah, well. Anything I can, Unless I can do? Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. But that's for me to worry about. You... You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Guys, have a gander at the finest stock. Hiss. I say hiss. Is easy, kitty. I mean, you no harm. And yet you harm me by your very presence. This is my territory, and you're in it. My intention to appear, I only want to admire you up close. Mm, I'll allow it. Uh, quite the specimen you are. How did you come to this place? I slinked, of course. Quietly admire the cat. Had enough. Now go quickly. Yes. You seem like someone who knows what he's about. Heard anything interesting around here? Good of you to notice. For my part, I have noticed the cleric is a liar. She promised me a bit of milk. Do you see any milk? Do you? Nor do I. Disgraceful. Isabel's in her room. Don't be shy. Have a gap. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed Is one Zevlor another the here? Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. What happened? Where's Zevlor? Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed. Out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Have you no shave? You were tasked with protecting these people, yet you ran. Ah, oh, I did. Maybe you'd have been the one to save us if you'd been there. Or maybe you'd be missing, along with the rest. Oh, hey, it's Roll. Oh, where's your siblings? Oh, that 
means they probably left out there. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. The kid's right, and you need to lay off the liquor. You want to talk about your sorrows instead of drowning in them? I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. I heard about the attack in the Shadowlands. I'm here to help. Oh, sod off. I'm only here because you helped me and my family. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero, and now they're gone. And it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. You go save the world, or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do, I'll fix this. This place is awesome! There's so much stuff! Dude is actually literally going to get himself killed now. And getting drunk is gonna help that. Yeah, I was like hoping for a like a a a, a, a talk point. I was like, oh, and basically mentioned that exactly. Oh, it's Mattis. I better be careful. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa! How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you Is never this not the kid that would try to at all. In that case, cheat us out? Want to buy a lucky ring? I oh, it is this kid. Ah. Nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Scamming with the greats? It really looks up to you. That's nice to see. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good long in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? You got any stocks for extra special customer like mm. me? I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone, but I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? I mean, 
Maybe. <laughs> oh, look. Give it to me now or I steal it later. The former is less embarrassing. Oh, that's so rude. Ugh, fine. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest. Oh, that is tower shaped key. This ought to be good. Anyways, let's go ahead and. Uh, is there. 